That's an AMS hub from Bamboo Lab. Pretty basic piece of kit, but really sound engineering. Whether or not yours looks like this, or this, or that, or that, they all work on the same basic principles. Let's break it down. So the AMS hub has the capability of taking in up to four AMS units. There's also a regular filament buffer that's one in, one out. All of the principles also apply to the single in, single out version. If you look at the connection diagram provided by Bamboo or on their wiki, this four to one hub makes total sense. You need somewhere for each individual AMS to come together because you're only going to one printer. Each individual AMS has a path going into the hub. Coming out of the hub is a common path going to the extruder. When one color is complete printing, it retracts all the way back up into the AMS. The next color from that AMS or from another AMS will then feed all the way down through the hub into the extruder to get ready for the next stage of printing. So the next logical question is, what if I only have one AMS? Do I still need this thing? What if I get rid of the hub and hook the AMS directly to the printer? Is that gonna work? Unfortunately, it won't. Well, not reliably. In a typical setup without an AMS or multi-material system of any kind, the roll of filament just connects directly to the extruder. The extruder pulls the filament as necessary and the rest of it is just kind of passive. Now let's talk about the mechanisms in an AMS setup. At its most basic, with everything else removed, all we have is the AMS and tool head extruder. The AMS extruder will push the filament all the way to the tool head until it comes to a stop because the tool head's not running. At this point, the AMS will push slack into the filament that's uncaptured. Once the tool head pulls all the slack out, then the filament becomes super tight, which is also not a good situation to be in. Can we just have them both running at exactly the same speed? Technically possible, but at a home user price point, it would be a little more challenging. So let's see how we manage this. Maybe the AMS pushes a little slack and then stops and the tool head picks up that slack and then stops and they cycle back and forth this way. That could work, except our filament's not open that way. We have to guide it between devices. We do that with a PTFE tube, which means our slack has nowhere to go. Okay, I got it. Slice the tubing, put a spring in the center. Well, now we have filament passing through a spring and the tubing won't compress. Okay, let's move this tool head up some. As the filament comes through, it's gonna ride the outer edge of the PTFE tubing. Then it'll hit the stationary tool head. The end will come to a stop and it'll continue pushing on the PTFE tubing. Now, when we turn on the tool head, we see the slack decreases and the spring comes back down. As we continue printing, we can see the slack is more managed. Now, if we add a sensor, including a magnet, we can monitor that slack, communicate that to the tool head and the AMS, and they can keep each other in balance while printing. If you'd like to see more content like this, give me some recommendations in the comments for what you'd like to see next. And now, a buffer in action. Yeah. Spool spin steady, yeah. buffer on deck, keep the tension tight, hey. never leave it a wreck. Filament, glass smooth, no snag, no stress. 3D dreams stacking, layer by finesse. Tastic threads, run. Marathon laps, no tangles, no snaps, no filament traps. Bamboo labs, tech, got the future on lock. Printing out visions, visions round the clock. Buffer keep it flowing, no stutter, no slack. Filament in motion, ain't no turning back. Bamboo labs, magic is built to last. Filament. Bumper running smooth and fast